Hi everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. Today I'm excited as usual. Usually I'm always excited in doing these videos, isn't it? I want to show you a new feature in Notion. Apparently so many of you have been waiting for a simplification of the databases, a very, very, very simple way to present a table. But still, so many of you have been waiting for this. It's actually funny. Tools like Evernote, Nimbus Notes, Craft. So Craft recently announced they have tables now. Those are all basic tables and these tools lack proper databases. So I can't build up a knowledge base that I can connect with other databases. So this is why I'm still using Notion in order to connect these databases. And now Notion added a simple table. So what this means, let's figure that out. All right then, I'm as usual in my demo workspace right here. So let's just figure out how we get tables. We will just write slash table and we will get already the typical table database and table, simple table to this page. And what I'm looking for is that I have at least some ways to integrate my existing data. So the first thing we will test if it is possible to mention things. Let's see. Yes, we can mention people, we can mention pages. So all this works and it just becomes clickable. I can click here. So this works great. So this database, for example, is from my online course for Notion that uh, my Paperless Movement members have access to. And I will update this course now with the new features that we have here. So we can insert above. We can clear contents. So when I go here and clear contents, this works as well. So that was the interesting part. Now let's see if the slash command works. No, it doesn't. So I would have, I was hoping for that we could just create new pages inside this table, but this is not a thing. doesn't matter. Can we actually drag and drop pictures in there? That's another question. Let's see if I have some picture here and I can drag it here. Okay, well, that's a typical import to Notion. And now let's see. No, it doesn't seem that I can add this to the table. Let's just cut it out and try to paste it. No, we cannot paste pictures in there. And I think this is already a downside because I can imagine that many of you would like to actually add something on top, you know, different pictures and then have some structure there and make it more fancy. But it seems this is not a thing. So we can fit the size. We can have a header row and a column row and we can add new columns and we can add new rows very easily. We can take this and drag it around. But this is the very basic thing that we can use it for. If you are one of the people requesting this feature, maybe you let me know in the comments below why you want to have this feature. I can see the advantage that I can structure my existing databases and my pages in a different way. So I appreciate that absolutely. But that we are not able to add images to the table is a bit of a downside already. Let's see if we can add websites. What then happens? There we come clickable. Okay. So if I create a bookmark, it actually doesn't add it to the table. So if I dismiss, it will keep this and it makes it clickable. At least this is working. So let's see if we write something. If the hyperlink is working, I guess it will. So we can just, if you don't know, you can just write text, select the text and paste, and then it will just make this text a hyperlink. So this works. All right, and there's one more thing. I just made a simple table, a little comparison between Notion Evernote Craft. Then we have one important thing that we can do here. We can actually go here to the three dots and then we press turn into database. And what this does, it makes it a proper database. It doesn't recognize that I have actually selections here, selection field. So let's see if we can switch. Yes, we can. So we can switch this to yes or no. Um, let's see, checkbox even recognizes that's the checkbox. So if you have yes, no, yes, no, we can just translate this into a checkbox. Let's see from the select field. Yes, we can do the same thing. 
and uh, this is a real advantage. So you could always start with a simple table and then transform it in a database later on. So when you're not sure if you ne really need a database for something, you might want to start with a simple table in Notion and then convert it into a database later on. I have to say uh, the responsiveness is nice. The way how we can integrate this table is great. Um, what I wonder, we can change the column size, but we cannot change the row size. Let's see if there's anything, any options. No, it is obviously auto mode, so we can make the rows bigger by writing. But yeah, that's about it. Well, at least with the text, we can have some basic formatting stuff there, comment on these texts. So this works as well. So I'm really eager to find out your use cases, how you use the simple tables. Let's go into the comments below and discuss what's happening there. And if you'd like to learn more about how to find the right tools for your digital productivity system, make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Give this video a like and I'll catch you up next time.